I'm obsessed with this. Like, you can't tell me I don't look like a 70s school girl. Right now, me and the kids are headed to the mailbox just to see if you guys know about the whole package situation. So I never went back to the post office. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and knock that out right now. And then me and the kids are gonna go ahead to um, the pool today because it's super hot. It's a really nice day. And I wanted to kind of be productive because I was sitting on the couch watching SpongeBob with them. And I'm like, we are not productive right now. So let's go ahead and do some stuff. I'm also gonna go to Sam's Club. We're gonna go eat lunch there. And then I may pick up some things that I feel like we need, so. Let me go ahead and head to this mailbox. So, I'm not gonna this. <laughs> just be quiet. Just be quiet, Brad. Just be quiet. You're doing bad. You're doing so bad. All right. So we just walked out of the post office. Again, nothing much that they can do about my packages. I don't know what packages were in there, but clearly I had a key, so I had packages at the mailbox for me. So I showed her the picture. I told her the exact date of when I realized that the key was in the wrong mailbox. And I told her my address and my phone number. So hopefully I hear back from them soon. Maybe there's an answer, but I got that taken care of. So now we're about to head to the pool um it's super hot outside today oh my goodness but it's a perfect day to go swimming so that's exactly what we're gonna do but look at this that's crazy. there's also a drive-in movie theater down here that i'm about to show you guys we're about to drive past it right now paw patrol august 20 20th through the 26th so y'all know this park we've been to this park like a hundred times they've also been to this splash pad a few times but the pool is right behind it and that's where we're going when you have to go through this building right here sign a little waiver i think it's like our name our address and phone number and then we can go swimming and the zoo is also over here too we've been to the zoo one time the zoo's actually pretty cool kind of expensive though but it was nice to go last time i forgot my sunglasses and i did not forget this time and i brought a hat <laughs> it was not playing in this heat this time the pool doesn't look as packed as it was the last time so here's the pool. There's the building that we went through. We came out like that middle door right there. So it literally took us like two seconds to sign that paper. And it just asked if we were a resident, our name, address, phone number. I think that was it. And get right on in. Oh, and how many adults and children? I'm just sitting over here in the grass area. And the splash pad is like right there. And there goes my kids. Let's see if I can zoom in on them. Yep, there goes Brock right there, making all those crazy faces. <laughs> Why is he making faces? And there goes baby Drew right there. made it into Sam's Club and I got a, a new card because I've been carrying around a paper for a minute now so I had to get my new card um, but yeah and so we're over by the TVs right now oh they have their Halloween costumes out do y'all know what y'all want to be for Halloween this year? No. Can we pick one? 
I never actually come over here and look in the electronics. A Google Assistant's only $34. Ooh, what is this? I really want an Alexa. Is this the same thing as a Google Assistant? I don't know. All right, come on. This tumbler set is on sale. The original price is $20. It's $14.91. These are really cute. Yeah. Might have to come back and get that. Yeah. Hopefully it's still on sale next week. These are, oh, my glasses, no. <laughs> These are on sale too for originally 20. But I'm, I wouldn't get that though. We do need some more silverware. Eight piece bowl and platter set. That's good for like hosting family parties and stuff. Oh, this is $100, but at Walmart they had theirs for 40. I probably would go to Walmart to get it, not here. So I'm gonna get these chicken pot stickers to try because I know my husband loves pot stickers and sometimes I like them too. Not like a huge, huge fan of them, but there was one time in a restaurant I tried them and I was obsessed with them. So I'm gonna get the big box. So the kids wanted these sandwiches. So we're gonna go ahead and get these. They chose those over the breakfast corn dogs and they're obsessed with those corn dogs too. Let's see if they have the water, because last time I was here, they did not have the water, and I still don't see the water. If y'all have never had these, you have to try them. I've tried this one and the strawberry, and they're both really good. $6.98. So, of course, I got the pizza combo. She got a pretzel. Brett got a churro, but it's being made fresh. So, we have to wait a few minutes. Mine's right here. How much? There we go. Brett got his churro. Is it good? It looks good. <laughs> she has salt all over her mouth from her pretzel. And I am already full. All right, we made it back home. And I'm gonna show you guys just really quick what I picked up from Sam's Club. Okay, so I have some salads. I got two of them. That's gonna be a really good lunch for probably next week. Cause today's Thursday. So I'll probably eat these like Monday and Tuesday. I don't usually eat the salads on the weekend. So I have a lunch for next week. I also got my husband these pot stickers, but I wanted to try them myself. It says includes authentic dipping sauce. And he likes to make the pot stickers in the microwave, but I think that's nasty. There's not, there's some things you just don't make in the microwave. Not everything should be made in the microwave. Like, I hate when people put chicken nuggets in the microwave. I think that is so disgusting. Put them in the oven or the air fryer. But I like to fry these on the stove, which that's the instructions on here. I hope it says do not microwave. Are there micro, there are microwave instructions. He's gonna microwave these. <laughs> but I got some of these chicken pot stickers. These actually sound so good. Tender and crispy white chicken meat and vegetable dumplings with authentic dipping sauce. And there's 60 dumplings in here. So that is gonna be really good. Okay, I picked up the wrong thing. This says plant-based patty. Oh my gosh, I am so upset. That is, that sounds nasty, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. That does not sound good, but hopefully the kids don't hear that and they still eat it without recognizing the difference because they wanted that. And then I picked up some bread for today. This bread would have been perfect with the, um, what was it? The wild rice with chicken soup. This bread would have been perfect for that. It smells really good, but we're gonna have this with, uh, I think I'm making stuffed shells tonight for dinner, so we're gonna eat this with the stuffed shells. You know what, I was gonna say if we don't eat both of these, I could save one for Alfredo, but knowing my family, they're gonna eat all of this tonight. Like, no, we don't play about bread in this house. My husband and my daughter, especially baby Drew, she don't play about bread, okay? <laughs> that girl loves her carbs. I almost forgot, one more thing. I picked up some lemonade. I don't think I've had Sam's Club lemonade before. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I have, but I can't remember. But I know we drink their orange juice all the time. So this time I got lemonade instead to see. I think I have had it before. And I know it's really good. I mean, Sam's Club stuff is good. So I don't have to worry about it being good. But comment down below if you guys also drink their, um, their lemonade. So my husband just came home and he wants to try the pot stickers. I told y'all he's gonna be obsessed with them. So we're gonna make them on the stove. And so far, this is what the instructions are telling us to do, just to throw it in here. Here's the instructions. <laughs> instructions right here. So now all of the ice has melted and they're actually pretty soft at this point. Well, that one was still pretty cold. I'm gonna turn down the heat. 
some of them are like really burnt but <laughs> i gave drew all the burnt ones and i kept the ones that look good but they're really good sauce mm. i tried that oh, i'm not about to show y'all the lower half of my body because i've like I have on this oversized dress. It's not like too, too big, but my sister-in-law gave it to me and it, it is kind of big. But I did receive a package today in the mail. It was from Shein. I placed my first Shein order last week and I paid for like express shipping. So it got here today. But I'm gonna do a haul it's probably tomorrow because I need to get myself together. Like my hair is a mess. I'm still sweaty from earlier. I still gotta cook dinner. Like this is a lot going on. But I did open up the package and look through the clothes and I love a lot of the pieces, but there are a few pieces that I'm like, eh, not my favorite. But most of it fit, well, all of it fit really nice. But some of the material on a couple of the items did not fit like I wanted it to. Instead of making stuffed shells tonight, because that's what I said I was going to make, tonight I am making chicken alfredo because I already have the chicken made and I want to go ahead and cook it tonight so it doesn't go bad. I'm going to go ahead and just make chicken alfredo because all I have to do is make the pasta. Chicken's already done. Bread is right there from Sam's Club. So tonight is going to be a really easy dinner. And I love that. Love it. I long for that feeling Why did it have to go away? I long for that feeling Remember everything you said Had to go on dreaming Dreaming Cause baby you are everywhere done cooking I'm gonna take a bite of my alfredo because I mixed two different alfredo sauces I mixed just this regular okay anyway this is just a regular uh, Bertoli alfredo sauce and then I mixed the prego home style alfredo sauce I just had these two up there so I just mixed them I'm gonna go ahead and try it we have my bread from Sam's Club today Baby Drew says she liked it. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. This would have been bomb with that wild rice with chicken soup. Next time I make that soup, I'm only eating this bread with it. Okay, it's the next day. I just got on straightening my hair and now I'm hot in this sweatshirt, but I also have to do a haul because I just got in. I just got in my Shein order. Um, I ordered for the first time Shein comment down below if you have ordered from Shein before and I'm sorry about the echo I'm in my office area but comment down below if you have oh the clothes fell out if you have ordered from Shein in the past I'm gonna go ahead and do a try on haul I've already tried these on and showed my husband because he wanted to look at them but I'm gonna do a try on haul for you guys and plus I got a shirt because I told you guys I really wanted to get a white turtleneck to go with this dress that I got at Walmart so I did get a white shirt for that and I'm sweating oh my goodness it's hot. Let me turn this fan on. I think I got like 15 pieces, I want to say. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys are these sweatpants. They're just gray sweatpants. So yeah, they're just a pair of gray sweatpants. So I'm going to try them on. So this is how they look on. They're super long, which I like. They go all the way down to the floor. These are the sweatpants. It is kind of big right here, which I don't understand that. But how I fixed that was I rolled them up like this so that way it wasn't so like big in the front and they still are pretty long like they're still a pretty good size and they come with pockets yeah they're really comfy so these are like my around the house throwing something on for I don't know to go to Walmart the commissary just something really quick so the next thing I got are these pieces right here so this is a really see-through shirt this shirt is like extremely see-through but I got it to go with an orange skirt 
And then I also have this shirt right here, which by the way, I didn't even buy to go with this skirt. I bought this shirt right here to go with like a pair of jeans. It's really, really cute. I like the way it looks, but it just looks so good with this green skirt. I bought this skirt to like take pictures and if I go out anytime. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and show you guys what it looks like on. So here's the outfit. I'm not gonna show y'all the back of the skirt because it is extremely see-through. Yeah, this skirt is extremely see-through, but here's how it looks from the side. It's a really cute skirt and you can like adjust the side right here. You can like adjust the side. So if you wanna make it longer, you can. And if you want to scrunch it up more, you can. But this is a really cute skirt. Like I really like this. So I'm super excited to like take pictures in this. It's gonna be so cute. And so I bought another skirt, like I said, just like this one, but just a different color. So here is this skirt right here. It's an orange skirt. Then I got it to go with this top, which is, um, a bodysuit but now that I think about it you can also wear it with the green one or the orange one but I'm gonna pair it with the orange one to show you guys like what it looks like so here's the orange one the orange one is really really cute that's probably my favorite my second favorite of this whole bunch because there's another outfit in here that is my complete favorite but this is so cute again I bought these to like go out in and for pictures I am like literally obsessed with this this is like a whole vibe like um, I love it and the dress the skirt is pretty long so y'all follow my Instagram because I will be taking pictures here soon Drew is going to be my photographer I told him he had to but this is so cute like this makes me want to go on a vacation like a cruise a type of vacation go back to Florida Bahamas but this is definitely giving me cruise tropical vibes now my favorite outfit out of everything that I got is this two-piece set let me tell you guys about the material. If I can go on here and find like what kind of material this is, cause this is the softest, like it's like cotton, but it's like, like I don't know how to explain it. Oh, it says 100% polyester. Like how is that? Because this thing is like literally feels like really soft like cotton. Like I can't believe this is polyester, but that's what it says. But the material on this feels really, really like something you would get maybe like at Hollister. Like you know how the material at Hollister is always like thick, really soft cozy material that's what this feels like like really soft it feels like really expensive to be like i'm not just saying this like i bought this stuff with my own money like shein did not send me this i went i went and downloaded the app and just scrolled through what i wanted and bought it myself like this company did not send me this they're not sponsoring this video but yes i did pick this up so this was my favorite out of everything because of the material that it is like it is really really soft and it feels really comfortable. Like I can't stress that enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it on and show you guys what it looks like. So here's how it looks. It is so cozy, so cute. The material is like really, really soft. And I love how it's like cropped, but it's not cropped like super, super short. Cause I hate when crop tops like come all the way up to here. I can't do that. Like, I'm not trying to be showing my body like that, but this is so cozy. I love it. I got a lot, I got a large in everything that you see. So the sleeves are like long enough because I have really long arms and I wanted the shorts to be kind of something that maybe I could possibly wear out as well. This is more of like a lounging in the house outfit, but um, it has pockets in the front right here. But yeah, I did get the shorts to make sure they were long enough in the back because I did want to like wear these out. I'm a mom. I'm not trying to show my ass to everybody. So, but this is just so cozy and I love it. And it's so freaking soft like I'm seriously obsessed with it and the next little skirt shirt combination I've been into like this tie-dye thing like I don't know why I've been into tie-dye so much this is the next one that I got but it's like this brownish bluish and then I got this um deep brown skirt to go with it again it slid on the side and I'm gonna go ahead and pair these two together all right now here's the next outfit again I got these for pictures look at this like <laughs> Who do, who do I think I am? Like, when do I dress like this? I don't ever dress like this. But I really wanted to set my Instagram game up, so I'm gonna be on Instagram posing, you know. This is, see, I can't figure out which one's my favorite. I think it may be the two-piece set I just took off because that was just like really, really cozy. But this is so freaking cute. So I got the deep brown skirt, got the tie-dye shirt. This shirt is see-through, so I have on like this black bralette thing. But it is so, Pretty. I absolutely love this. I would definitely love to just like wear this out. 
like with my friends, with my sister-in-law, with my girls. Wear this out, this is so cute. Again, I bought this kind of strictly for pictures. Yes, a little leg action. Leg action. This is so cute. I'm obsessed with this. Okay, and something else that I picked up are a pair of jeans. I really wanted just to get one pair of jeans to see how they were gonna be when I tried it on. These jeans fit so well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. And I'm also going to go ahead and just put this shirt on with it. It's a hoodie, um, what material is this? Does it say? This material is a little bit weird. Okay, this is 100% polyester, but this, this one is still softer. This one is super soft and squishy, but it's not, it doesn't feel the same as that one. But I do like the material for this because it will keep you warm. Like this thing is thick too. But it says Brooklyn on it. It's like a, like a mocha color. I guess that was the color of it. Um, type of sweatshirt and I really like the uh, the touch of red that was in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on these two that I also got from Shein. So here is the pants and the sweatshirt combination. I got this sweatshirt for the fall, but I also got it to wear when Drew's family comes next week, which I wasn't expecting it to still be like in the 80s, but I won't be wearing this when they get here. But I love how it's like, I, I got a large in this. I wanted it to be oversized, but not too, too oversized. There was like falling off my shoulder and like down on my knees. So this is absolutely perfect. These are the jeans that I picked up. They are high-waisted jeans. And they are just like skinny jeans and they have holes in them. I feel really comfortable in these, in these pants. That I can bend over, stretch. Like they are super, super stretchy. I don't feel restricted at all. I did get a size eight to 10, which I think is a size large on their website. So I did get a large, like I said, I got a large and everything, but this is just so cute. Like the sweater combo, it literally is perfect. It's the perfect type of shade of jean to where it's like not too dark, not too light, and it really complements the light sweater. I really like this, a whole vibe. So far, everything that I got from Shein has fit so well, as you guys can see. There is one outfit though that I really wasn't a huge fan of and I'll save that for last. Since I already have these jeans on, I'm gonna show you guys this shirt that I picked up. This is a zip down shirt. It has a zipper on it, you can zip it up, down, show as much cleavage as you, as you like. I'm gonna go ahead and try this on with the jeans. Now this is definitely Adriana. This right here just screams Adriana, like 100%. Like if y'all ever catch me out in public on a day where I actually feel like getting dressed, this is how I'm probably gonna look with some high boots, maybe some combat boots or a pair of tennis shoes. This is how I'm going to look. Like this is this is me. This is if I had if I had a, an outfit to describe who I am, this this would be it. This is so pretty. I love it. I feel comfortable. I feel like myself. Love the jeans. The jeans are 100% my style. Um, the shirt is 100% my style. It's black. I love black. It's, you know, mom-like, but it's also my age. I'm 27, so I don't look like I'm trying to like Dress too young, dress too old. It's like perfect for me. I love it. I feel comfortable. Now here's where I kind of messed up at. This isn't what I don't like or what doesn't fit, but I did buy this for the fall and winter. My husband said it looks like, what did he say it looks like? I don't know what he said. He said it looks like something. I was dying last night. But where I messed up at is on their website, they also have some that have zippers on it and I should have got the one with the zipper. I didn't get the one with the zipper. So this has no buttons, no zippers. Like. What am I supposed to do when I get cold? But this is a coat that I picked up because I really wanted some type of jacket or coat to wear when it starts the transition from fall to winter. Like I didn't want to wear like that big ass black coat that I have. But I got a size large and I like it. My husband hates it, but I like it. This is definitely me again. But like I said, they have a shorter one that goes like up to here and it zips. I may go ahead and order that one at a later time but um yeah they have a lot of these in different colors as well it's super fuzzy let me see if i can like zoom in on it like it's so so fuzzy my husband hates it but i like it oh i forgot about this shirt okay so now let's he also hates this shirt. So two things that he hates so far, that coat and this shirt right here. This is another like see-through shirt I bought for pictures. My husband does not like it because he doesn't like the stripes that are in it. I can't remember what I bought it to go with. I think I bought it to go with the orange skirt. I think that's what I did. But I feel like the orange is too almost too bright for it. When I tried it on with the brown, the brown was like too dark. I don't know. So this is kind of like a weird shirt that I picked up. Not like a huge, huge fan of it because I can't figure out how to style it with the skirts that I have, but I will eventually figure it out. 
but this is just you know another see-through tie-dye type of shirt that i got now here's the white turtleneck that i got to go with the um the walmart dress i'm gonna go ahead and put that on and show you guys it is a bodysuit okay so here is the shirt with the dress. I definitely feel like a 70s school girl, but this is so, so cute. I feel like the back is a little, I feel like I'm like exposed, but oh my gosh, this is so freaking cute. Look at this. I feel like a 70s school girl. Hold on, wait a minute. Like you can't tell me I don't look like a 70s school girl. Like I, this outfit is so, so cute. See, I don't know what would be like my favorite. Like what would I consider my favorite? Here is the back. Really like the turtleneck on this. The material on this is really stretchy. Like we could go for days with this, <laughs> with this stretch. Like this is so comfortable, super soft, lightweight. I really like this outfit. Now this is cute. This is cute. Now lastly, this is what I imagine polyester to feel like. This material feels a little bit on the cheap side, but if I can figure out what material this is, I think I tried to see and I couldn't find it. Let's see. Okay, 95% polyester, 5% ela elastin, elastane. I don't know what the hell that is, but I don't like this material. <laughs> this, what turned me away from this was the material. It's cute. I thought it was gonna feel more like this polyester one, like this soft material, material but it's not. So. This definitely has like a funny feel to it, but I'm gonna put it on and show you guys what it is. It has like little saying right here. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. I like that little quote that was on there, so. Okay, now here's the last outfit. Like I said, not really like a huge fan of this. I really love the quote that was on it. I don't really care for the material like at all. It's really the material that's like turning me away from this outfit. I did get a large, so maybe I could have passed and got a medium. I don't know. I kind of like how the large fits. Let me see if I can like adjust this shirt though. I'm like not a huge fan of like whatever's going on right here. Like I'm not really liking that, but it's something I can just wear around the house. It's mainly like what I bought it for, just to wear around the house. I didn't have any intentions on wearing this outside of my house. So yeah, this is everything that I picked up from Shein. Comment down below what was your favorite piece and um yeah let me know what you guys think and have you guys shopped at Shein before but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here because I'm hot I've already edited the first half of this video so this is like the end of it I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next one bye